Hello, today I'm going to show you how I draw. That wasn't it, don't, don't go please. The first step in figuring out what you're going to paint is to um, pick something. And in this case, we're going to make a sloth. And the sloth we're going to pick is Braveheart. Um, personally, I like this picture, so I think I'm going to use this one. This is quite a simple um, portrait, sort of head on top of shoulders sort of job. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get sorted. Um, so I'll just go straight in. Um, Once you've done the pencil, it's time to put ink, and I strongly recommend you keep the um, reference image here, because, um, well, for me anyway, my lines probably, you can't completely tell where everything should be, and often you find that while you are doing the ink, you decide to change things. The next stage is to dry the ink. Um, I use a hair dryer and you've got to dry it for a very long time because you're going to have to rub out the ink underneath uh, the pencil underneath here. And if you try and rub it out while the ink is not dry, then it will smudge and you will cry. So do it for like, I don't know, especially over the big globby bits. Like you can see in the corners here. Um, Okay, so this is what I have so far. Um, you can see I did actually make a mistake over here. This is the kind of thing that I'll get rid of in Photoshop afterwards. Um, and there are some things that I don't colour in. Um, oh, sorry, I mean I don't use lines for. Like the paint on the face of the original picture, I haven't put a line over that because I don't think um, it would work well because the line is too thick and it'll just clog up the face a bit, I think. And the same is true for this, the pattern on this thingy. Okay, so now you get on to painting this bad boy. Okay, once you've rubbed out the pencil underneath, then you can begin painting this um, painting. So you want to get a new, um, a new mug of water or cup, I think. Um, and have your reference picture here as well. Um, and people say you should start with the lighter colours in watercolour, but in this case it doesn't really matter because there's because um, there's separation with the with the ink lines. Um, so I'm going to start off with his what he's wearing. Okay, um, so it's a bit crowded. Um, The main thing that you've got to worry about is the stuff drying, because when it dries, it'll make a, um, it'll make like an outline around the edge of it. Okay, so there's there's a base layer, and now you can see some shadows coming in from here. So you might want to just dab um, little dots of it, and then it'll um, spread out from there. Um, and so that kind of looks a bit like a shadow. And there'll be some here as well, along this edge. So there's um, one arm. Okay, 
Okay, you might want to wait for that to dry before you carry on then. Um, next we're going to do his strap, which is a bit of more of a ready sort of brown. You see I'm putting shadows in again. Um, see over here the, uh, the paint has dried, so it's not spreading as it probably should, as I expected it to. So you might have to go over that bit again. Um, Okay. Cool. Okay, lots of water. You see this is a big surface, so you need to be careful for the drying edges. Because if they dry then um they'll make a mark and it's quite difficult to get that mark out. See, I'm just going to put these um, more bit more paint on these um, sort of pads that he has, because they'll be they'll be raised up, and so they'll catch the light a bit more um, differently and have shadows on them. Um, so it might be worth just putting a few blobs of ink. And what I suspect actually happens um, is that the ink is thick enough to actually um, act as a kind of wall and contain some of the. Sorry, contain some of the paint and stop it flowing out, which is quite useful. And you're going to have some shadows over here too, so I'll put some um, uh, we'll do more shadows um, in a bit. Okay, um, I did kind of lose the pencil marks for the for the blue on. I did kind of lose the pencil mark. I did kind of lose the pencil marks for the blue on the face, um, but that's okay. I can figure out where they go. Thank you for making it this far through the video. Um, here's the finished product of what you just made. Um, of what I just made. Um, if you'd like to win this, then subscribe to my channel, which I think you should do anyway, because I'll do more of these sort of things. Um, and comment as well. Um, in the future, I'm going to make videos on how to do Photoshop afterwards and just more fun things. I know you're tempted. <laughs> um, sorry, thank you.